Day on 2K Sports. Thanks for spending Sunday evening with us. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce is our reporter. It's the Chicago Bulls facing the Golden State Warriors. And a look at the starters for the Bulls. McGee finds Thompson. Shot clock at five. There's the block. Here's Harper. Pass to Rodman. Here's Longley. Covered by McGee. Here's Longley. Jordan high post. Rebounded by Green. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Now Thompson. The kick out. Curry. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And Curry is always a threat to shoot, which is why defenses sometimes get too aggressive guarding him. And he drops the first. And so Curry nails both of them. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Here's Pippen. Second chance shot. Ooh, McGee with the block. Yeah, if you had to pick the top priority for McGee, I think that's it. Contest shots, block shots, get in the air, use that length to deny shots at the rim. That one goes in. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. And you do not want to let him get going early because that can get you cooked. Now here's Curry. Harper pulls it in. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Here's Jordan. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Jordan's got his second bucket of the game. Once Jordan gets inside with the Rockets practically all over, he's that consistent at close range. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. He'll take possessions like that one all day. Here's McGee. Thompson passes to Duran. And it's slammed in by Duran. This is why you put the ball in his hands. An accurate pass hitting a moving target. Pass to Pippen. Here's Harper. Right wing. Here's Pippen. Here's Harper. He's covered by Curry. Harper misses. Outside Curry. Thompson with it. Inside. Here's Durant. And Durant with the big finish. Well, the elevation from Durant should come as no surprise there. I mean, he's dangerous above the rim, and he can go way above it too, folks. Now here's Jordan. Pass to Pippen. Here's Harper. Here's Pippen. Guarded by Durant. Pippen, no good. The Warriors leading. Down low. Deflects the pass. To the wing on the left. They set the pick. Shoots from the line. Here's Longley. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Nice job by Longley being physical on the glass there. Using that body to box other guys out. Approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Pass to McGee. Thompson in the post. Jordan's there. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. Man, you can't teach the toughness that Thompson plays with. He simply refuses to back down. Personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Dubs. Play Thompson. One shot. One shot.
And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Here's Harper looking for his first basket still in this one. Here's Pippen on target from range. Really crafty play that time by Jordan. Good decision. The defense was locked in on him, so he gave it away. Outside Curry. Pass to Thompson. Over Jordan. And it's Thompson that time on the assist from Curry. Thompson's got five. These teams just feeling each other out. Yeah, I love the spirit out there. Already six lead exchanges. Now Jordan. And there's the screen. Here's Harper. There's the three. Here's Rodman. And he goes in for the dunk. Well, we've seen Rodman do that often. Going up, getting that board, and getting the putback. Exactly what you want from him inside. The Warriors trailing. Up top, Thompson. Covered by Jordan. Outside, Curry. Five on the clock. Green, a screen from deep three-point range. Curry, no good. And here's Chicago. Pass to Rodman, to the inside. Ooh, Durant with a steal. Thompson right side. Here's Green. He got a piece of it. Pippen putting in the work to get there for the denial. That was really a nice hustle play. Here's Harper. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Here's Longley. Pass to Jordan. Shoots over Durant. And they force the shot clock violation. Great feed. One for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. He's got five. Here, put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Here's Rodman. Jordan with it. Defended by Thompson. Shot clock at six. Jordan against Thompson. Jordan misses. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling, and he still misses. Boy, he wishes he had that one back. Pass to McGee. Back to Curry. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Curry's got seven points. And I'll tell you, we see Curry working on his balance all the time. Well, I'll tell you what, it paid off on that challenging play. Here's Pippen. To the paint. Here's Jordan. Add that to his line. Now three for six. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Pretty clear. They're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Now here's Curry. He has seven. Green for three. Here's McGee. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Boy, for a seven-footer, he's got really good bounce, does JaVel McGee, and doing a nice job working on the glass there. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. So both teams changing it up here. And Chicago has possession. Trailing by four. Brown against Curry. Here's Kerr. Another shot. Good coach. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. 
you know, you can't afford to forget about Kuta's length on the glass. I mean, he'll hurt you with it when you let him. Here's Livingston. Charity stripe shot. That's good on the jumper. And the Warriors lead by four. The entire defense was frozen foot. Nobody picked up the shooter. Pass to Kukoc. Back to Brown. Here's Kukoc. Iguodala defending. Six on the shot clock. Let's it go from deep. Kukoc, no good. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's Livingston. Here's West. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Now it's a six-point Warrior lead. We know West is very comfortable in the mid-range, and he prefers to attack you from that area. Pass to Caffey. To the middle. Oh, it's stolen by Iguodala. And for some reason, he decided to foul there. Yeah, B.A., that's an odd move. Maybe there's something else behind him. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. Now here's Iguodala. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And he buries his first look. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensive. Here's Sally. To the left wing. Here's Jordan. Oh, oh, my goodness! Oh. Whoa. Michael Jordan, MJ. It really doesn't get much better than this. And how about our AT&T 5G slam can? Couldn't have captured that play any better. The Warriors leading. I think he has to play more conservative from this point on. I mean, that's two fouls already. Just a superb read on defense to come up with a block. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. Iguodala finds Curry. Step back and fire. And he drops in the layup off the glass. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. And a trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. Now here's Brown. Tipped. Here's Livingston. Pass to Curry. We've got 155 left now in the first quarter. Clock at six. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. Here's Kukoc. Here's Rodman. Pass to Jordan. goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. And here's Curry. The teardrop. The rebound by Kukoc. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. Pass to Rodman. Inside. 51 seconds left in the opening quarter. From deep, Jordan doesn't go that time. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Now here's Iguodala. Here's Livingston, defended by Brown. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Petty play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there. And he makes a first. 
Looney's checked in for the Warriors. The Bulls making a switch here. And so he's able to get one of two. Chicago trailing here. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Brown with it. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. Here's Kukoc. It's deflected. And they get it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Five ticks left in the first. Curry from deep three-point land. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's the Golden State Warriors closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Getting lots of great looks. Shooting it well. That's why they're up. And don't go far. We'll be right back. to our coverage of Game 3 on 2K Sports. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Well, their length and anticipation reflected in their shot-blocking totals, making the extra effort to close things out. Something else they've done is really get after it defensively, specifically steals and how they've done a good job tonight forcing turnovers. Chicago trailing here. On the court for Chicago. Pass to Pippen. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for Kevon Looney picks one up. Man, good whistle there. All right, let's take a look at the energy stats. How the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Well, it's tough to score when you're getting stuffed on every attempt. Great job getting the hands up so far, making life difficult on shooters. They are also being so active there with their hands on defense. It's paying off with a lot of steals already tonight. Curry passes to Green. And it's hammered home by Green. You see the power, the long arms. Draymond able to convert through contact with a potential and one. And the free throw, no good. Back to Curry. On the wing, Green. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Pass to Brown. Here's Kukoc. Guarded by Durant. It's stolen by Curry. On the wing, Durant. Now Green. The kick to Durant. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. If you give KD the mid-range, he'll take it. He's an efficient scorer from pretty much anywhere. Now here's Brown. Pass to Kukoc. Down low. Pippen. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Curry passes to Looney. Out to Thompson. Here's the three. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. This is Clay Thompson's go-to shot. Such an effective shooter from outside the arc. Brown against Curry. Over to the wing. Here's Kukoc. They get it again. Here's Sally. And he jams it home with authority. Grabs the board and goes right in for the putback. I love it, B.A. Yeah, wanted to close the gap. Makes sense to get aggressive on the glass here. The shot is good by Curry. Beautiful ball movement from Kevin Durant. Easily finding his shooters that are ready to knock him down. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. They're yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Now here's Brown. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Pippen. Back to Brown. And a Stephen Curry with the rebound. 
Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Three-pointer off the mark. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. Here's Kerr. Here's Kukoc. Six to shoot. Pass to Pippen. That one is off. Ooh, Durant with some nice D. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. It's stolen. Here's Pippen. He's got five. Here's Kukoc. Here's Pippen, guarded by Durant. To the inside. Here's Kukoc. And the layup is good off the glass. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Brown against Curry. Poke loose. Here's Thompson. Lays it up and banks it in. Thompson's got 10 points in the game. Okay, looking like his dad, Michael, in that play. Clay Thompson taking it to the defense. Oh, decides to talk it over. And the Warriors making a switch here. McGee's checked in. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Harper. Here's Kerr. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Fires the three. The Bulls with another miss. So it's the Warriors now. 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Count it. What a effort from Curry in the paint. Not letting anything hold him back. Here's Harper. He's covered by Curry. To the paint. And stolen by Green. Pass to Thompson. Curry with it. Just five on the clock. Off target from three-point range. In this first half, he has really fallen in love with the three. So far, not paying dividends. Down low. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. And in traffic, he uses the reverse to keep the shot blocker at bay. What an incredible move. Not everyone has that kind of skill. Curry passes to Thompson. From deep. And it's Chicago with the board. We all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space. But that does make it a tougher shot. Harper. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. What? Wait. Hey, dunks are always for the big boys. <laughs> Emphatic move by the point guard. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Outside Curry. Outside for Green. Pass to McGee. And McGee with the stuff. Just a big man playing big. No way to stop it. Here's Pippen. He has seven. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. And here's Curry. McGee a screen. Curry passes to McGee. Outside Durant. Fires for three. He buries it from three. Durant's got nine. And we've begun to see their three-point shooting slip a little this quarter. No. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over.
Here's Jordan. Ten points for him. Here's Pippen. Pass to Jordan. No good on the shot. The Warriors go the other way with it. And here's Thompson for three. Here's McGee. And McGee with the stuff. Incredible work right there on the glass. Just doing all he can to extend that lead. Hey, once you got him on the ropes, keep swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is reeling. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. Here's Jordan following the score by Golden State. Shoots over Thompson. Jordan misses. Most nights this shot would have been his, but the defender gave him just enough trouble. Here's Livingston. Pass to Durant. McGee a screen. Durant with the bucket. He's got 11. Katie's height and length make him a nightmare. He can easily get a shot off. Here's Harper. Here's Rodman. And here's Jordan. Defended by Thompson. Here's Pippen. Clock at six. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Here's Jordan. The Bulls with another miss. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Pass to Livingston. Harper pulls it in. A challenging stretch here for Chicago. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. Back to Thompson. Oh, sweet move. Can't get it to drop. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Jordan with it. He's got 10. Longley. Pass to Rodman. Can they get it? And Jordan lays it up and in. Jordan's got 12. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Now Durant. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The size and length of Durant poses problems for defenders, which is why they foul him. Two falls. Iguodala's checked in for the Warriors. And both free throws good for Durant. Well, it's going to take something special now to get him back in this game. Unfortunately, it just doesn't seem likely. Pass to Jordan. And he banks in the layup. He's got 14. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. And so they foul intentionally. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Out left to the wing. Here's Livingston. Back to Iguodala. McGee, a screen on Jordan. Iguodala, the pass to McGee. And out of bounds, it'll be Chicago ball. And the Warriors making a change here. Curry's checked in. And so here is Chicago, down by 15. Pass to Kukoc. To the middle. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Come on, B.A. He sure can rise. Grab, that's as good as it gets. One of the best in the league. A minute 53 left in the second period. Here's Curry from 13 feet. Down it goes. Curry's got 13 now. We know about Stephen Curry's pregame dribbling ritual. He showed him off right there on that play. Pass to Jordan. To the inside. And Kerr gets it to go. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. 
Here's Golden State. Outside Curry. We've got 113 left to play in the first half. From behind the arc, sinks the tray. Curry's got nine points in the quarter. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Pass to Kukoc. Now Jordan. Iguodala defending. Here's Kerr. Inside. Shots good by Kukoc. He has six. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Oh, there's the alley. Keeping his head up at all times. Curry sees his teammate break free. And it's the Bulls' ball. It's a 16-point game. Pass to Kukoc to the middle. Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now here's Iguodala, covered by Jordan. The ball's knocked loose. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. No luck on that one. And so it's the Golden State Warriors up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. We'll be back in a moment. And we thank you for joining this postseason broadcast. And it's been an outstanding first half for the Golden State Warriors. What I like, they're sticking to their game plan. They aren't deviating, Ernie. They're like changing up. They're doing what the coach wants and they're focusing and playing smart and under control. Yeah, that's been the difference maker for sure. Let's see if they can maintain that mindset. Checking out the circumstances for the Chicago Bulls. Winning the first two games of the finals, one more win tonight, and they practically taste the championship. Going up three games to none, they'd be able to smell it, taste it, hear it, see it, and smell it. Um, big fella, you said smell it twice, so the sense you're missing was touch. Careful, Kenny. He might have to touch you up. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. to our coverage of Game 3 on 2K Sports. The Bulls on offense. It's a 14-point game. Green out there with Kevin Durant. Then there's JaVale McGee. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Thompson in at the shooting guard position. And that's the group for Steve Kerr as we begin the second half. Now here's Jordan. Pass to Harper. Four on the clock. Fires from 14. Jordan misses. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Durant, the pass to Curry. Hey, yo, On the wing, Green. McGee in the post. Green with a screen on Jordan. The three from Thompson. Count that one. He's now five for eight. Just so remarkable and consistent from distance is Clay Thompson. About a minute played here in the second half. To the wing, right side. Pass to Jordan. To the inside. And Harper gets it to go. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Outside Curry. Here's Thompson. Now here's McGee. And another shot. Boy, they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but still coming up empty. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. 
Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Now here's Curry. The D's right on him. Takes a 13-footer. The shot, no good. And Chicago will go the other way with it. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. Right side Durant. 18 feet out. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got his fourth assist with that last one. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Here's Harper. To the paint. Here's Pippen. And that one is hammered home. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Pass to Thompson. Knocks it loose. Oh, it's stolen by Jordan. The shake. And slam dunk by Jordan. Playing from behind, it's amazing he chose a dunk with that high a difficulty rating. Yeah, no question. That was a stellar move with plenty of swagger. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's Curry following the bucket by the Bulls. The three, Durant. And the Warriors with another three. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Durant's gone two for two so far from three. Pass to Rodman. Down low. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. And he brings this game a little closer using a huge one-hand slam. That's a great way to get your team back into it. Thompson passes to McGee. And here's Curry. Left side, Durant. McGee a screen. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Free throw's good. McGee. Brown with it. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Longley, covered by McGee. Here's Jordan. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. He's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's on his game. There's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. Warriors decide to talk it over. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. They absolutely want to add to what's already a big lead. No question, B.A. No reason to let up. Just keep playing your game. Draymond Green is out there with Kevin Durant. Then it's Clay Thompson. Then there's Stephen Curry. That's the Warriors five. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Warriors. You have to be a fan of the energy they've played with on the defensive end. Active hands and feet. And it's come up big a few times for them. I love the fact they've done tremendous work on the offensive glass. A lot of second chance opportunities as they've kept that ball alive. And it's slammed in by Durant. Well, that's par for Durant. I mean, that's what he gives you. The ability to score at all three levels. Pass to Pippen. Here's Kukoc. Now here's Jordan. Defended by Thompson. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get 
fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, it was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. Thompson passes to Green. On the wing, Curry. Down to five on the shot clock. And Curry throws it down. And sometimes we forget about Curry's ups. He's more than happy to remind us with the slam. Pass to Kukoc. To the inside, Jordan. And slam up by Jordan. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. Now here's Thompson. He's got 13. Here's West. Now here's Durant. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. That kind of aggressive and forceful move by West really rubs off on his teammates. Pass to Kerr. Back to Jordan. They set a pick right at the free throw line. And the Bulls tack on two more. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. Outside Curry. And here is Thompson. Tipped away. And now the Bulls in transition. Jordan with it. Now Thompson defending. Pass to Kukoc. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Hey, Kukoc is six foot ten, which makes it easy for him to flush it home, especially with that kind of defense on him. Get out of the way. The Warriors leading. Outside Curry. Here's Durant. Out on his own on the break. Kerr gets it to go. I like what I saw on both ends that time. Hustling on defense to create some offense. Timeout called the Warriors. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Curry, 18 points for him. Iguodala outside. interesting so many big bruising centers in the league can't shoot free throws but Pachulia's actually pretty good at it and let's take a moment to get your take guys so on the scoring so far for the Warriors I think the mid-range game has been a go-to option for them in this game and when it's working like it is for them I see no reason to make a change well another thing they did well was taking advantage of the holes in the defense very aggressive in exploiting the lack of concentration. Chicago trailing here. And so in the game for the Bulls, pass to Kukoc. Here's Rodman. For three. Pass to West. Goes back up. Gets hauled in by the Bulls. He liked to have that one back. That's easy money. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. 
with two hands on the rock, he powers it through. Totally in control, protecting the ball the whole way. And a big issue for them, turnovers. Yeah, you just can't give away possessions in this league. Iguodala outside. Pass to West. Shot from the wing. He can't get that one to fall. And Chicago will go the other way with it. And they bump this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Here's Kukoc. Give him eight points now. They set the pick to the middle. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And now it's just a four-point Warrior lead. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Who poked away. And now the Bulls in transition. And slammed up by Jordan. <laughs> and you can tell they're in sync right now. Expertly turning the steal into fast break points. Chicago trailing here. Kevon Looney is out there with Andre Iguodala. Then it's Clay Thompson. Then there's Stephen Curry. That's the Warriors five. Here's Pippen, defended by Thompson. And Simpkins gets it to go. Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's such a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration from him. We've got 123 left in the third. Crafty move. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And the first one at the line is good. So, one for two that time at the stripe. It wasn't perfect, but it was enough to give them the lead. One eleven left to play in the third quarter here. Out to the right wing for the lead. Shots good by Kukoc. 12 points for him. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. Curry finds Iguodala. And here's Thompson for three. Another miss. Six makes, six misses so far. Chicago leading. There's 39 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Pippen, defended by Thompson. To the right side, just five to shoot. Here's Kukoc. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Outside Curry. To the paint. Up and in with the jumper near the hoop. And the Warriors lead by one. Just an unselfish play from Curry. Always ready to move the ball and his body to help an open shooter. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. The Warriors on top, up by one. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Anyone. And give it up for your Warriors. You and it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. That is why he is a point guard in this league. He has the elite passing ability, the vision. You need both to play the point guard. And welcome back to our coverage of Game 3 on 2K Sports. On the court, the Bulls getting the fourth quarter going. Looney passes to Curry, throws it up high, hammers the lob through. Beautiful setup 
on the alley -oop. Great catch, great flush. Here's Harper. Pass to Caffey, inside. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Kevin Durant. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Warriors. That one misses. McGee, he's checked in for Looney. He hits the second from the line. And they need to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. Brown against Curry. Outside Durant. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Part of what makes KD an all-timer. We have never seen someone his size with that type of ramp. He's off on the second. Here's Pippen. Pass to Kukoc. And that one is stuffed right through. Exposing the defense and taking advantage in the paint. Now McGee. Iguodala outside. Oh, they get a hand on it. Green, the pass to Iguodala. Golden State needs to get off a shot. They grab their own miss. Here's McGee. Outside for Green. Three-pointer. Sinks it from distance. And the Warriors lead by four. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack three-point range. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. The team putting a larger emphasis on jacking at threes. Here's Pippen. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. That went off the back iron and out. Iguodala inside. Finds the bottom from 13 feet out. And now it's a six-point warrior lead. Nice move to get inside and create a good look for himself. Here's Harper. Iguodala defending to the inside. Tipping. And he bangs it home with one hand. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Golden State calls timeout. Bulls making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. During that break, Coach Steve Kerr had some advice for the team. He likes what he's seeing, but he cautioned his players, we are not far enough ahead to assume anything. Momentum can shift in a heartbeat. We have to be diligent, and we have to be smart. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. And so in the game for the Bulls... Pass to McGee. Back to Iguodala. To the middle. Curry uses the glass on the layup. Curry's got 20. All right, well, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Yeah, they've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggression. And there's been another bonus to what's happened with them tonight, and that's the offensive rebounding. They're boxing out, they're getting up extra shots. That could be a difference maker in the result. Shots good by Kukoc. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but gets close. He's getting the ball. Now here's McGee. Back to Iguodala. Clock at six. Here's Curry. Kept alive. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Amazing to think about Draymond Green and the career arc he's had thus far. He really can guard any position on the floor. He can make plays 
really a unique talent. And that misses, so he splits the free throws. Not a perfect trip to the line, but at least he made this game a two-possession affair. Pass to Jordan. Inside. Here's Longley. And he makes it on the layup. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. The Warriors leading. Outside Curry. Now Durant. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Terrific work from Durant at that time, able to use his length and his frame to get the contact. Kevin Durant at the line. Free throws good from Durant. And so he hits both. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Pass to Pippen. Here's Kukoc. Now here's Jordan. Iguodala defending. Here's Pippen. No good on the triple. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. Jordan with it. Picked up by Iguodala. Jordan misses. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss. They can live with it. Here's Curry. Launches it. Green for three. Five on the clock. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got eight assists here tonight. Chicago trailing here. Pass to Kukoc. Jordan against Iguodala. Now here's Jordan. Tight defense on him. Over Iguodala. Here's Kukoc. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to go on Draymond Green. Hey, you can't block it. Sending him to the line could be the next best thing. And he knocks down the first one. And the Warriors making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. And so it's Golden State with it. 17 points was their biggest margin. Here's the pick. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. That free throw is good from Thompson. Clay Thompson never seems to get too rattled. A pretty even keeled guy, and you can see that even when Clay's off the floor. Here's Kerr. Pass to Jordan. From outside the arc. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Shooting for Chicago. And that one misses. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. Thompson passes to Duran. That one a little long. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Pass to Rodman, and here's Jordan. There's the double with Thompson. Oh, McGee with the block. Thompson against Jordan. Thompson passes to Curry. Here's McGee. Thompson with a screen. It's stolen away. 
Jordan inside. He's covered by Curry. Lots of room. And Kerr gets it to go. Well, if you came here looking for a scoring battle, I think you made the right choice. Yeah, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Now here's Curry. The floater. And he lays it in. Curry's got 22. Curry gets going like this. It's dangerous. And this could be a big night on that scoreboard for him. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Here's Kerr. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Kerr. And here's Jordan, defended by Thompson. Now here's Jordan. Just five on the clock. The Bulls need to get off a shot. And that one, good. Smart play call to get him something at the rim. Well, taking advantage of that opportunity, it does not get any more high percentage than that one. Now here's Curry. To the inside. Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. And we're well aware of how dangerous Clay Thompson can be. You remember that 37-point outburst in one quarter. Here's Kukoc. Pass to Rodman. Here's Longley. Jordan with it. Count it. Good. Jordan's got 41. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Outside Curry. And that's number four. Definitely something to keep track of as we move forward. Team is in. First one falls for him. And more artwork from the greatest shooter we've ever seen. Curry making it look easy. The Bulls making a switch here. He does not get the second one. And here are the Bulls now. Trailing by five. Pass to Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. That's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Now here's Durant. Outside, green, 4-3. And that comes off the assist by Durant. Durant's got his fifth assist in this one. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here, guys. In good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Doubled by Durant. Here's Harper. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. The first free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Now here's Curry. Golden State calls timeout. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. During that break, Coach Steve Kerr had some advice for the team. He loves what he's seeing from their perimeter offense. He told the team, quote, keep shooting. It's working for us. Let's bring this home. Back you. Thank you for that, Allie. And here are the Warriors now. 17 points was their biggest margin. Basket counts. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Warriors. Phenomenal work on the defensive end so far. That stands out the most. They've made it their mission to block shots and make things hard for the opposition. And following that, the number of second-chance buckets they've tallied has been superb, showing no mercy in hitting the offensive glass. And so in the game for the Bulls, Here's Jordan. 
Banked it in off the glass. Jordan's got 45 points. It is a given. Jordan loves delivering in these big moments. When it's an important possession, he wants the ball and the shot. And just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. And, you know, a close game, you got to find that edge. High-energy plays like that one can make a big difference. Here's Durant. That one goes. And that's his ninth made shot in 12 attempts. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. To the paint. Inside is Pippen. Soft touch off the glass. 22 points for him. Boy, that's leadership right there. Coming through in the clutch. Pippen knocking it down in a big moment. Outside Curry. The floater. And that's two points on the layup. Curry's got nine points here in the second half. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Out of bounds. Bulls ball as Chicago keeps possession. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Thompson against Jordan. There's the screen. And slam dunk by Jordan. Boy, you just got to love his competitive spirit. Jordan never gives up on the game. Always competing. The Warriors leading. Outside Curry. From deep three-point range. Knocks it loose. And the ball out of play. The Bulls will have it. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. They're behind by four. And 101 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Check in with Allie LaForce. What was that last break, guys? We got a chance to hear what the head coach of the Bulls said to the team. He was really urging them to stay after it, saying, quote, we're right there, guys. Keep playing for one another, and let's take this game. Bringing the inspiration. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Allie. One left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Kerr. Here's Jordan. Defended by Thompson. Six on the shot clock. Rodman. At the line, Rodman is a little less consistent, but when his team needs him, he can step up. <laughs> as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that narrows the lead down to just three. And by missing that free throw, now a three could even the score. Not ideal. Curry passes to McGee. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. And this is so critical. They now have to score every tip up the floor. The defense needs to be just as sharp, but it's not over yet. To the wing on the left. Pass to Jordan. Here's Rodman. Here's Pippen. Green covering. Shoots a fadeaway. Cash. Oh, what a sensational bucket. That brings it within one. Well, Jordan has been fantastic. And they need to stop the clock, so there's the foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. First free throw is good, and that'll put him up two. This is not someone you want to send to the line. Thompson loves coming through there in the clutch. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Couldn't have asked for anything better there. Only a three can tie it now. Time call 
out here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're down by three. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Guys, what do you think? If they leave the arc open, take it. But it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. Either way, they got to score the ball. Seconds left in the fourth. Pass to Kukoc. And here's Jordan. To force OT. And it goes! He gets it! Wow! I love to see when those shots go. Knocking down the big three with this much on the line right as the clock expires. Oh my goodness! Regulation is ended, and we are headed to overtime. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Well, four quarters weren't enough to decide this ball game. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. They've got Klay Thompson, Andre Iguodala out there with Kevin Durant. Then there's JaVale McGee, and it's Curry in at the point guard position. Now here's McGee. Back to Thompson. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Well, the pure shooting stroke is the first thing you think of with Klay Thompson. But I think as impressive is what he gives you on the defensive end of the floor. Clay Thompson is as hard a worker as there is in the NBA. The first one falls. Both shots good from the strike. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Here's Kerr. He's covered by Curry. Pass to Jordan. There's the double with Thompson to take the lead. It's not going to go for him. And Golden State will come the other way. 17 points was their biggest margin. Yeah, they've been pretty careless so far, racking up a number of fouls in very little time. If you are a defender guarding Kevin Durant, you have got to have great stamina, both mentally and physically. He is as well-rounded an offensive player as the game has ever seen. And boy, good night when he starts to cook. Now here's Curry. Pass to Durant. McGee a screen. Durant, no good. Chicago trailing here. Overtime just getting started here. Just about a minute in. Here's Kukoc. Here's Kerr. Five to shoot. Jordan with it. And it's McGee picking him up. Ooh, McGee with the block. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. Now here's Thompson. Up top, Curry. Shot clock at six. Durant, the pass to McGee. And McGee with the stuff. Well, we think of Durant as a naturally gifted scorer. Fact is, this guy understands how to get his teammates open. Here's Kerr. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Rodman. Now here's Jordan. Defended by Thompson. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Well, credit him for going for it. Not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. Here's Thompson. After the basket by Chicago. Curry. 
Curry with it. Driving to the basket. Here's Durant. The three from Thompson. And they turn it over. Clock violation as the buzzer sounds. Boy, that's the last thing they needed. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. The Bulls making a switch here. Just under two and a half minutes passed in this OT. Pass to Jordan. They double him with Curry. Here's Pippen. Iguodala defending. Fade away. Here's Rodman. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. Didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Timeout called. The Warriors. Coming down to the floor for the Bulls. Luke Ron Harper. Three minutes now gone here in OT. Thompson passes to McGee. Back to Thompson. Shot clock at six. Back to McGee. And McGee with the stuff. That's just a good look from Clay as his teammate was open. Chicago trailing here. Pass to Pippen. Here's Rodman. Iguodala defending. Now here's Jordan. Here's Harper to tie it up. Nails it from three. He's having a good night from the field. Now, I know the defense is really keying in on him, but they need him involved if they're going to pull this out. Now here's Curry. Rodman with a rebound. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Here's Pippen. Here's Longley. Pass to Jordan. Here's Rodman. Just five on the clock. Here's Pippen. To take the lead. To the left wing. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Thompson with a steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Warriors. For three, Durant. Oh, he buries it from outside. Now that's one to remember. What an impact on the game. Now I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Pass to Pippen. Here's Longley. To the paint. Iguodala brings a double team. Six on the shot clock. From deep, Jordan. And he buries it. Oh, an enormous three-pointer. Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Now a timeout called by Golden State. And the Bulls making a change here. the Warriors with the ball. Outside Curry. The kick to Durant. Takes a three. Misses the three. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over.
And stolen by Durant. Oh, and a chance to win the game, but the last minute shot is offline. Another tie, and we're going to have a second overtime. We've got more in store for you right after this. As we play on into another overtime, you know these teams must be wearing down. It's become a battle of attrition. Curry with it. Tries to spin move. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That's his first foul. A great job to establish position and square up. So it's Chicago now. Here's Kukoc. Pass to Jordan. Shoots over Thompson. And again, Chicago, no good. Great contest of the shot. Kind of forced him to fade back more than he'd like. Zigadala, the pass to Curry. And again, no good by Golden State. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Here's Harper. Now Jordan. Thompson with a steal. Curry from downtown. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Curry's got 28. And this is a special player. It might be a special night for Curry. Now Jordan. Over to the wing. Doubled by Durant. Here's Kukoc. Inside. Longley. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. And there's the lob. And it's slammed in by Durant. Like the connection there. KD has his teammates looking out for him. An outstanding alley-oop that time. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Rodman. Down low. Kukoc, no good. The Warriors leading. Out to Thompson. Jacks up a three. Another three for Golden State. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. And the Bulls call time here. Green's check in for Iguodala. The Bulls making a switch here. And here are the Bulls now. Here's Kerr. Pass to Rodman. To the wing, right side. Jordan against Thompson. Here's Kukoc. Puts it up from 17. Jordan with it. Over Thompson. Here's Rodman. Oh, McGee with the block. Now here's Curry. He's covered closely. Yeah, so easy to root for Stephen Curry because of how much fun he seems to have on the floor. Embraces the competition and is able to laugh it off when something doesn't go his way. A lot of things do, though. <laughs> and so Curry nails both of them. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. There's Pippen. And that's good for two as he grabs the feed. 24 points for him. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. 
Well, if you came here looking for a scoring battle, I think you made the right choice. Yeah, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Something's off about him this quarter. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Here's Kerr. And the three off target. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Curry draws the double. Thompson outside. Back to Duran. Pass to Curry. The three ball. And that comes off the assist by Duran. And now an 11-point Warrior lead. That's a go-to shot for Stephen Curry. Ready to shoot as soon as that ball touched his fingertips. Here's Kukoc. From 17, and the ball out of play. The Warriors will have it. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. And the Warriors with possession. They're on a 15-4 run. Thompson passes to Curry. Softly drops in the floater. Curry's got 35. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Pass to Pippen. From deep. The long distance three is Barry. Oh, so staggering display of range here. I mean, that took some serious confidence. Now here's Curry, and that one drops for him. Their focus has been terrific. They really put on a clinic here today. Well, the cool thing is, is that they look like they're having a blast out there. Everyone on the same page, contributions across the board. <laughs> he's been tremendous at corralling misses all night long. Yeah, it's almost like he's got a magnet on that ball here tonight. He's in the right spot all the time. the Warriors taking care of business in this one. Things were looking scary for them coming into tonight, but with this win, they're right back in it. They showed a lot of character and a lot of heart. Many experts had written them off, but now we've got a series. Well, that'll do it. Thanks for joining us for Game 3 of the NBA Finals. For Brent Berry, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. So long, everyone.